All right. We had a YouTube user request to see the high contrast albino, uh, that little animal we picked up several years ago from uh, Ron Tremper. And uh, Ron's a good guy. And uh, they were wanting to see just how she was doing, how well she had held her color, and um, what she was what she was looking looking like these days. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at that little girl. So this is her. As you can see, with age. Um, uh, you know her her vibrance has I don't want to say gone down but it has definitely lessened um, she's still just as gorgeous uh, but as you can see with maturity there is some color loss that goes on but she's still incredibly high contrast she's still incredibly well patterned and as you can see she's really big she's she's a big snake she's I don't know, 1,800. Nah, she's not that big. She's, she's between 1,500 and 1,800. Now, before everybody asks what this is, no, it's not a tick. No, it's not mites. I'll show you. On white snakes, either with the leucistics or with pides or ivories, she looks really orange right there, and she's not. Um, anytime, you know... They get a little dry scale, or they get, you know, a little mark on them, either from a rat or something like that. You know, it shows up so much more. It shows up way, way more. So anyway, this is her. Let's pull her out and just let you look at her. She is breeding this year. See, there's, see, like right there, it's like that. That is where a rat just kind of, you know, when she constricted her rat, her rat was able to give her a little love bite. Anyway, so this is her. And she isn't this dark. Um, yellow and orange are two colors that uh, a lot of people don't realize don't show up real well on, on camera. But, as you can see, she's... Here, let's get her up here in the light so you can see how yellow she really is. Still not showing up well. See, but... Ah, this video is going to suck. I'll upload it anyway, man. I, I know you wanted to see them. I know you wanted to see her and see how she's doing and she's held her color she has like I say she's, she's breeding our spider so that um, so that uh, we can have some some spiders hit high contrast albino and she loves to run this is just her you know I can take and touch her head and she's actually a really good tempered snake you can take touch her head like that doesn't bother. In fact, let's look at an albino head real quick. Look at that. She's falling off the table. It's the last thing I wanted to have was be sitting there holding her up by her head. So there she is. High contrast albino. She's doing good. She likes her rats and she's been breeding really well. I appreciate all the requests, guys. Seriously, uh, if you want to see anything else, if there's something else you haven't seen, if I've got it, I'll show it to you. Seriously. Um, you know, like here's a snake that we haven't shown off in a while. Oh. Here's a snake that we haven't shown off in a while. So VPI Xanthic. That's a cool snake. This is an adult male. So see, I got stuff, you know, I got stuff like this squirrel back. I did this once before. Let's put that up next to a normal. Uh, just so you can see the, the coloration. 
You'll see a lot of people that'll say, oh, I think I got this snake. It looks like an azanthic and, you know, blah, 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 blah. No. It doesn't. Azanthic on the right, or, uh, sorry, azanthic on the left. Normal on the right. Like I say, guys, if I got it, I'll show it off. I, uh... Oh, I'm not scared. I need to secure some soft birds. I like to try and keep little soft birds and, you know, stuff like that around here in the snake room just because somebody refuses a meal, I want to be able to, to offer them. Is this guy in shit or what are we doing here? Ah, he's in shit. It's a hypo. Anyway. I know all y'all wanted to see was the uh, was the albino. Mm -hmm. So she wants to bite me. Not, not really. She's good. She's good. She's good. Oh, let's show you something cool. Let's show you good granny in a rocking chair. Let's show you something cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what this is. Y'all can go hang, but you ready? I'm going to pull a Ralph Davis. Yes, it's a mutation. Yes, it's proven. Yes, it has a super. No, you can't know what it is. Uh, this is a little normal female we picked up a couple of years back. She's pretty cool. Real quick, I was going to show something off on the last video, and I never did. And so I want to show it now. We bred a piebald male to a, nor uh, to a het pied female. I almost said normal. To a het pied female. And the clutch went to crap. She gave me six eggs. Five of them were infertile. One of them had little bit of veins in it little little uh little little egg did finally come to fruition and this is what we got this is a het pied female but any of you experienced people i'm gonna put this snake up here on a piece of newspaper because that newspaper really seems to help with that banding thing that I've got going on for whatever reason. Alright, so for you experienced people, you've probably already spotted it. She's kinked. This is my first kinked animal. You can see right here on the tail. See right there. She's got a little kink right there in the tail. And then she's got a little bit more of an obvious one. Right there. She's a beautiful little girl. A lot of breeders that have probably put this little female down. She's going to try and bite me. A lot, of female, a lot of breeders would have probably put this little girl down. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. You know, if she eats and... See how her tail's doing? She eats and she sheds and she grows, which she does, by the way. Um, this this little female has has eaten several times. Um, then you know, I created it. You know, she has the ability to survive, and it gives me the opportunity to kind of see this kind of thing. So there's her kink. So you can see her spine right there, right there. Pretty, pretty jacked up. Now, let's go ahead and dispel a myth. Het pied markers. Next video.